So what's the number one fear that stops people like me and you, coaches, consultants, speakers, trainers, people who help people get better results in life, what stops people like us writing a business book, something that puts our knowledge and experience out there in the marketplace? Well, I know the answer to that question, and there is a way to get around it as well. And this is the problem. The problem is judgment. Yes, we can be scared, I know the feeling, that people are going to judge our ideas and they're going to compare us with something else. Because that's the problem with judgment, isn't it? It's just a comparison. So how do we get around this idea? Well, it's quite simple, really, is we take away the comparison. So what is it that can't be compared in the normal way of comparison? Well, it's quite simple, really. It's our opinion. Because opinion, unlike a fact, is always right. Now, when I say a fact is right, you know what I mean. We, people can argue about facts, but you can argue about opinions, but your opinion is your opinion. It doesn't mean that somebody else is doesn't have a different one, but it's your opinion. So how does this relate to writing a book? Well, it's quite simple. We share our knowledge, our experience, our expertise. But the other thing that we share, and this is where the money is, by the way, this is where the differentiation is, this is where the relief is of any comparison or judgment, we share our take on it. So that's the bit that we have to put in, in massive chunks. Knowledge, experience, expertise, and our take. Why? Because nobody else has got that. And that's why when we're adding our extra bit in, our take, some people call it spin, but spin has got negative connotations. Prefer take. When we're adding our take in it, this is what makes the difference. So if you've ever been concerned about sharing your knowledge, your experience, expertise, because other people are going to be comparing it, judging it. Don't worry about that. As uh, Ted Nicholas, who was a good friend of mine, the late, great Ted Nicholas, said to me, said, Peter, I'm going to share a four-letter word with you that's going to change your life. And boy, did it change my life. And the word was, next. Makes sense, doesn't it? So I continue to wish you every success and all your adventures in life as you share your knowledge, your experience, your expertise, and your take on it. There's more videos around here. If this made any sense, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. From me, Peter Thompson, until the next time. Goodbye.